You can never refrack a well. Well, yes. and if so, why would you do that? Right. Well, there's there's a couple answers. Uh, the one I want to lead with is when you think about fracking, understand today when we go down, we're going out say 5,000 feet. That's what we're putting into our horizontal. The tip end being the toe, bringing yourself back to the heel. Typically, we will have 15 stages of a frack in that horizontal. So you'll hear that they're gonna frack the well 15 times, but really what that gets at is the horizontal itself. Because you'll lay out, if this is 5,000, if, 5, if you had a stage that's 500 feet, you're gonna do that 10 times. So that's one of the biggest things you hear about is how many, how many stages a well would have. Now, we have not seen the need to come back and re-stimulate any of the wells that are producing for us. They're producing in such quantity, we don't yet see the need here in Susquehanna to come back in and refract the well. Now, the question was asked, can we? I don't know that to be the answer. Typically, that's done on vertical wells. Um, in different parts of the country, the DJ Basin out by Denver, um, they do that quite a bit. They'll go back in five years after they first drill a well, and go back in, put another completion or frack on these wells, and get, we'll get a brand new well, but it has to do with the stresses in the earth and way the fracks are generated. It's a different level of frack, I and mean, it's a smaller level of frack, isn't it? Depends. It's not, I mean, it's not the 2,000 truck <coughs> kind of thing that you were saying around here. No, but there's also wells, eight or ten pads exactly. per 640 Closer, acres. Face closer, yeah. Yes. So it can be done. It is done. Not here from the cabin, and it's more on a vertical basis than a horizontal one. And I think there was a question then also that all that water, that 20% that's coming back immediately, is going straight to containment for us. That's the water we're getting. Well, actually, it wouldn't be like this. Oh, okay, that's produced. Okay. That, yeah. It's just, and, and, and again, it's just. The only difference I have is if the team that's there, if Baker Hughes or Schlumberger or Halliburton is actually hydraulically fracturing the well and water comes back up when they are there, that's flowback. Once they move off and you're now in a production state and you're bringing water back up at a lesser amount, we go with brine water. But the good news is all that water that comes back up, it comes back up the wellhead. We're able to separate it off, capture it immediately, take it to treatment. From that standpoint. So none of that gets shipped to any injection wells? No, sir. State? We don't use any injection wells. And, and now, to the point, uh, by going closed loop, we instituted closed loop about middle of last year. We were fully uh, uh, utilizing it by the end of last year. I'm sorry, 2010. And by doing that, we were then able to walk away from any treatment or disposal needs to waters of the Commonwealth. The, and I just want to come back. The company that we use was also, the, you know, they were saying to us, we can do this. And again, we were sending them so much water, but like anything else, you know, let's see you grow over time and make certain you could do it. And Comtex now has that ability to take 100% of our water and recycle it.